Good morning, everyone. And this liturgy is being offered for Dominic Valdecantes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we, so we too, may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your, Into your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I commend my spirit. spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your, Into hands, your hands, O Lord, Lord I, I command my, my spirit. spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I command my spirit. My spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. Whoever loves his life 
loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today we certainly uh, honor again um, Maria Goretti, a 12-year-old uh, back in 1902, and maybe uh, people back then were more mature at an earlier age. But in the presence of her mother, and this is uh, just the amazing thing, is that she chose to be killed than to give up her virginity. Uh, and therefore she's also a martyr. But for that, and I think back then, and indeed something like this was absolutely shocking. Today, I don't think we would blink twice. I hate to say it. We are numb to a, all kinds of atrocities that are happening, and we almost think that it's normal. And it's important for us to reflect on, in terms of uh, the sacredness of our own bodies and the bodies of our brothers and sisters, that we must, indeed what St. Paul tells us, we are temples of the Holy Spirit, and therefore we must indeed protect our bodies and honor those bodies of our brothers and sisters. And so important for us in terms of how are we uh, honoring our bodies and how are we taking care of our bodies through eating or uh, alcohol, tobacco, uh, are we um, doing exercise? Uh, all of these things in terms of, of helping uh, to preserve and honor our bodies uh, and also to honor those of our brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, what has happened in the this, this last century uh, in terms of uh, the two world wars and um, the, the atomic bomb uh, of uh, uh, people's bodies absolutely being destroyed, that we have to step back and remember what God has given us and that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and we must preserve, protect, and defend our bodies and that of brother and sister to honor what God has given us, our bodies, and not just our souls. And so today we, we celebrate Mary Goretti as we reflect on how we can uh, uh, help our bodies uh, and, and preserve them in honor of our God who gave us our bodies. My brothers and sisters, let us ask our Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. For the modern day apostles who minister in the church, that like the twelve, they may be given authority over unclean spirits and the power of healing for every spiritual disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may break up for us a new field, sowing justice and a culture of life, so that we may reap God's blessing and the fruit of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the kingdom of heaven may be at hand for our dear ones who have wandered far from their faith, 
Through the love and prayer and outreach of the faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are in a season of suffering and pain in body or soul, those in grief or illness, the imprisoned, the abused, the addicted, all who need our special prayer. We especially pray for Elizabeth Wathen, Mark Wathen, James Harris, and all those mentioned in our prayer list and book of intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that their purification may be shortened as the mercy of God rains down upon them and releases them for eternal rest. We especially pray for the repose of the soul of Bobby Jager and Patty Grissom, daughter of Carol and Phil McGonigal. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that remain in our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By this mystery in water and wine, may we share in your divinity as you humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, with my iniquities, and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, pronounced the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory John our Archbishop, Bernard and Joel, our auxiliary bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with the Apostles, the martyr St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, St. Maria Goretti, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, disciples, friends, you say to each and every one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be upon you always. And let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God, 
Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. body of Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> o oh God, who bestowed on our blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, 
we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace.